My name is Max Goins. I'm Executive Director of WeGo Mission Coalition. This video is being made as a report to our supporters and friends to let them know some of the great things that are happening in Russia. I thought you might like to know what one of our congregations does in their normal life of ministry. Volodya Turin is the founding pastor of the church in Dyatkova, Russia. He was one of our original 10 students. He actually met and married his wife, Natasha, in Dyatkova, where she grew up. Uh, they have formed a wonderful team, working together to build a strong congregation. After completing his studies at St. Paul Christian College, Volodya began studies at TCM's study center in Vienna, Austria, where he recently completed his MDiv in family counseling. A number of other Russians also graduated with him. Second from the left in this group is Irina Nazarova. She is the wife of Konstantin Nazarov, who is executive editor of our publishing department and director of the college. Irina is one of the professors at the college. It is now called the Evangelical Christian Center of the Apostle Paul. The Russians found that as an evangelical center, there was much less red tape than being called a college. The primary thrust of the center is to recruit, train, and send out church planters. Constantine is doing a great job as director of the program. This is Constantine, Irina, and their children. They are a marvelous family who live with a complete dedication to the Lord. A month in the life of a Russian congregation is very similar to the life of an American church. They stay very busy. Artyoma and Eugenia are a typical Russian family. She came to Christ and was baptized last year. Artyom has just made his confession of faith and is being discipled by Volodya. Volodya's interest in family counseling is creating a church with a strong family focus. Here's the Soprienko family. The mother, Sveta, became a Christian as a young woman. She then drifted away from the Lord for a number of years. As she married and began her family, she realized the great need that she had for the Lord to be a part of her family life. Her husband is now a Christian and they're raising their uh, children in the Lord. Anne is a young woman being discipled by Natasha. She has made a confession of faith and is preparing for her baptism. Her husband was not in favor of her being baptized and so she waited several weeks to give her husband time to accept what she was doing. It also enabled a number of her family members to attend. The Russians have found that uh, watching a baptism is a perfect way to teach about the subject of baptism. Paul is another young man being discipled by Volodya. It has been difficult to interest men in spiritual matters. However, now there are significant numbers of young men under 40 who are becoming dedicated to serving the Lord. A number of men have come to Christ through the church's recovery program. Most of those going through the recovery program become very dedicated to serving the Lord because of gratitude for His help in their recovery. It has been a very fruitful season for the Dyatkova Church with a large number of people being baptized. Here we see Volodya preparing a nice group for their immersion. The churches in Russia always stress inviting family and friends to their baptism. Here you see a large group that is gathered at a lake to celebrate with those who are being baptized. As you can see, it is a happy and a festive occasion. This was a special time for Volodya and Natasha as one of those being baptized was their oldest son, Vladislav. Vlad is a, an accomplished musician and has been a great influence among other teens in the community. As you can see, the water was cold at the time Vlad was baptized. Sometimes in winter, we even have to chop holes in the ice to baptize people. The congregation has a wonderful youth program. They have a youth ministry team made up of a young man named Daniel and his wife Zoya. Zoya works with the children and Daniel ministers to the youth. We have trained all our Russians that a church with a good youth program has a good future. Not only do they minister to the youth in the church, but they also are reaching out to all the young people in Dyatkova. They have a diversified program of teaching and activities for the community. The 1st of May in Russia is like the 4th of July in America. 
It is their greatest holiday of the year. The church youth went to a number of places and had a typical fun holiday and also learned a lot about the Lord. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation. We wanted you to see how much good has come from the investments you have made in the ministry of We Go Mission Coalition. Your investments are paying rich dividends. None of the things which we have seen in this video could have been possible without your prayers and financial support. God bless you for what you've done for We Go and the Christians in Russia.